from the historic Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles, this is the 21st Annual American Music Awards. With your hosts, Reba McIntyre, Meatloaf, and Will Smith. Scheduled to appear are Babyface, Tony Bennett, Clint Black, Michael Bolton, Tony Braxton, Brooks and Dunn, Lauren Christie, Color Me Bad, Terrence Trent Darby, and Vogue, Lita Ford, Kenny G, Vince Gill, Jim Lawson, Hart, Faith Hill, Whitney Houston, Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince, Hidden Play, Carol King, Gladys Knight, Cindy Lauper, Joey Lawrence, Melissa Manchester, Barbara Mandrell, Richard Mark, Eddie Money, John Michael Montgomery, Naughty by Nature, Aaron Neville, New Edition, NKOTV, Donnie Osmond, Pointer Sisters, Recording Artist Against Drunk Driving, Kenny Rogers, Salt and Pepper, Sil, Gene Simmons, Snoop, Donkey Dog, Paul Stanley, Rod Stewart, SWV, Hank T, Ham Tillis, Aaron Tippett, TLC, Clay Walker, Joe Walsh, Stevie Wonder, X and Janae. The 21st Annual American Music Awards brought to you by Diet Coke. This is refreshment. McDonald's. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Bud Light. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. And the creators of Neon, proud sponsors of our 1994 U.S. Olympic team. And now, here are the hosts of the 21st Annual American Music Awards, Reba McIntyre, Meatloaf, and Will Smith. This past year has been really great. And as you'll see tonight, we have got the best of the best right here, folks. The best of the best. Absolutely, absolutely. And they're all here to compete for the American Music Awards. All right, y'all's going to get to enjoy some exciting performances by some of the year's hottest artists. Plus, special salutes to the Beatles, Diana Ross, and Frank Sinatra. And our Award of Merit and International Artist Award honor two superstars. All right, I'm ready. Enough promises. Let's get on with the first award of the evening. In the late 80s, he emerged as one of the hottest record-selling artists in the country. Behind this success was his impressive talent as a songwriter. In the 1960s, she became one of the country's leading songwriters, then went on to great success as a recording artist. To present the award for pop rock band, duo, or group, here are Richard Marks and Carole King. Yeah. are celebrating a very special event. Yeah, now, after several years of great success, the talented members of New Edition went their separate ways to even more success. Bobby Brown, Ralph Tresvant, Johnny Gill went to solo careers. Ricky Bell, Michael Bivens, and Ronnie DeVoe formed Bell Biv DeVoe. And tonight, they've come back together for a 10th anniversary reunion. Oh, yeah. Also in the works. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also in the works, they got a new album and a world tour planned. To present this year's sole R&B favorite band, duo, or group, here are Johnny Gill, Ricky Bell, Ralph Tresvant, Michael Bivens, Ronnie DeVoe, and Bobby Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, new edition. This has been the year of the country explosion, and a lot of that excitement was caused by this next multi-platinum duo. And just to prove that all play and no work isn't good either, here with the title track of their chart-topping album, Hardworking Man, are Kicks and Ronnie, Brooks and Dunn. Go for it, guys! To present our next award, we have two heavyweight musical artists. And if America had royalty, I think we'd all be on Prozac. No, really. <laughs> they'd, be, they'd be it, and they can sing it. Yep, they can. Please welcome Nashville's Barbara Mandrell and New Orleans' Aaron Neville. No. Okay, this next gentleman opened the 70s by forming the legendary James Gang. He closed the 70s with the legendary Eagles, and since then, he's had a great solo career. And she, well, 
She's uh, spit it out, buddy. Yeah, bomb gonna. She's a great hard rocker who looks good, but she sounds as good as she looks too. Yeah. But she really looks good. He plays yeah. as good as she. Ah, what the heck? Here's <laughs> Joel Walsh and Lita Ford. Whoa, you gotta love it. Yes. You gotta love it. Okay, this next group has had a hot single climbing up the R&B charts and just this week slid into number one. Yes, number one. They're a young new group from Atlanta and they're really excited to be presenting an award here tonight. They are Latasha, Tamika, Candy, and Tiny. Escape! I think Whitney can give up her day job now, don't you? <laughs> All right, presenting our next award are three young females you can't ignore. Their way of walking the walk, talking the talk, and singing the song has gotten everybody's attention. So here they are, T-Boss, Left Eye, and Chili, TLC. Go on, child. Congratulations, girl. Now, our, our next award is for favorite new country artist. Sharing the presenting honors is a past winner who's going on to become a major force in country music. And teaming up with him tonight is an exciting, talented singer-songwriter what are you doing, Will? Whose country you? roots run very, very deep. Ladies and gentlemen, Clint Black and Pam Tiller. Oh, yeah. In the late 50s and early 60s, little did we know that across the Atlantic, a musical storm was brewing. And that storm was caused by American artists and their music. There were R&B artists like Little Richard. And Fats Domino. Rock and rollers like Bill Haley in the Comets. Well, you can do anything. And Mississippi you sensation wish. Elvis Presley. In places like the Cavern Club in England, they were being copied by young groups who added a little native skiffle and came up with their own version of American rock and roll. One Liverpool group started as the Quarrymen, became the Silver Beatles, and in 1962 and 63, began to have British hits as the Beatles. Then came the event that changed music history forever. 30 years ago this week, a tidal wave broke on American shores. The Beatles landed in New York and headed for Manhattan. Since they were registered in their own names, the usually reserved hotel was surprised to find their new guest's fame had preceded them. They were already the number one group in the United States. A few days later, they played to millions on U.S. television, and it was the beginning of an era. They started the British invasion of the 60s, and for the next seven years, they were the world's top artists. And for the past 30 years, not a day goes by that contemporary music is not influenced by Paul McCartney, John Lennon, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. The Beatles. from Seattle 20 years before being from Seattle was cool. And they're still cool because their music continues to gather new fans right up to their current album, Desire Walks On. Presenting the award for the favorite heavy metal rock artist, Hero Hearts Ann and Nancy Wilson. Uh, I went to the wrong place, Will. Pay attention, you're not paying oh, attention. That's Will, what's I went wrong. to the wrong place. Hey, look, but since I went to the wrong place, I really went fast over here, didn't Good I? Good job, no, you did well. And you know what? Speaking about a fast track, how's this? Three years ago, this girl was studying to be a teacher at Bowie State. Two mm -hmm. years ago, she was recording hit singles for the Boomerang Movie soundtrack album. All right, now, now this year, she's enjoying a top 10 album, a top three single. She done pulled down a deuce tonight already. <laughs> now we get to enjoy Tony Braxton. Yo! To present the award for favorite pop rock album, here are Donnie, Jordan, Jonathan, Danny, and Joe, NKOTB. Here are three new really great country stars, Faith Hill, 
Clay Walker and John Michael Montgomery. All right, now check it out. For a lot of years, some artists have chosen kind of unusual names to get the public's attention. Like who? <laughs> like you, Mr. Loaf. But listen, check it out. Then the opposite happened. Prince dropped his name entirely, so now don't nobody know what we're supposed to call him. But our next performance name has been heard a lot this year. His records keep hitting the top of the charts. His debut album, first album, sold millions and millions of copies, That's right? right. But listen, without any further ado... Yeah, do it, baby! What's your name, fool? Snoop Doggy Dog! Now, here are a couple of guys that I can really relate to. They exploded on the national scene in the last half of the 70s. And, well, it's 1994, and they're still not through. They're putting out exciting albums. They're giving us great shows and an upcoming album featuring 10 of the hottest artists from Garth Brook to the Gin, to the Gin Blossoms will pay tribute to these guys, presenting the Heavy Metal Hard Rock New Artist Award are a couple of my buddies from KISS. Here they are, Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here are American Music Award winners Color me bad. Designated drivers, that's the thing. Now to present our Pop Rock New Artist Award, please welcome Babyface and Donny Osmond. Oh. To, yes. present, to present our next award, here's a fine country gentleman who's strong three ways. Strong of body, strong of mind, and strong in musical talent, Will. And a lovely lady who continues to prove she's one of our country's best singers and songwriters, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Tippin and Melissa Manchester. Yes. For years, these three artists have brought great pleasure and joy to music fans everywhere. Not only do they make wonderful records, they are pure entertainers among the best we have. They're here to present our first male artist award of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, June, Ruth, and Anita, the Pointer Sisters. He and his partner performed on this show for the very first time and won the very first American Music Awards for rap. Then he went on to star in a successful TV series. And this year he received rave reviews for his role in the motion pictures Six Degrees of Separation. He's our co-host, and they're back again, Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince. Yes! And now, the final award of the evening. It's for favorite pop rock male artist. And here are the nominees. Michael Bolton. <laughs> Eric Clapton. Michael Jackson. Rod Stewart. And the winner is Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. <laughs> Eric Clapton can't be with us tonight, but I'm happy to accept his award, and I know he would say thank you to every one of you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The 21st Annual American Music Awards. Brought to you by Crest, the dentist's choice for fighting cavities. Crest with Florestat. Nominations are based on record sales information compiled by Radio One Records, a leading music trade publication, and the SoundScan point of sale tracking system. The independent survey firm of Broadcast Research and Consulting Incorporated sends the ballots to a representative sample of record buyers. The ballots are tabulated by the national accounting firm of KPMG Pete Marwick, and the results are placed in sealed envelopes until they are opened at the time of presentation.